Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I just saw the trailer for an amazing sci-fi masterpiece. Used to have a male lead, but now it has a female lead. Just Furiosa, yeah, that was really, really good. <laughs> but this is mainly going to be about uh, Harvey Weinstein's Acolytes, the Acolytes. So, um... Uh, Leslie uh, Headland is um, an acolyte of Harvey Weinstein, and she literally, <laughs> she, she didn't know anything. She didn't know anything, except for everyone knew everything, but she didn't know anything. Um, so I've started calling, I know Mark Millar coined the phrase, uh, cancel pig, SJWs. I just, start, I just started calling these people 2018s, because... Everything about them just stopped progressing in 2018. And they want it to be like that forever. So uh, it's a Star Wars TV show made by someone who apparently has never seen any Star Wars ever. And of course she's a lesbian because it's 2018 forever. Um, uh, but anyway, so I saw the trailer. And um, I recently watched both of the Sicario movies. Now, when I was first promoting Iron Sights, the first one, I was explaining it as being like Sicario to get the tone of it, so you would understand. But I hadn't actually seen the movies. I had just seen trailers and previews and clips here and there. So I finally saw both of them. And the movies were not exactly what I thought they were going to be. The first one is pretty much a masterpiece. The second one is is solid, but you can skip it. It doesn't it has a couple of cool scenes, but it's just the first one was so good it was really hard to match it. They had a different director. <coughs> Same writer though, but it's it's just not as good. It's it's good, but the first one is amazing. But I know there's gonna be lots of uh videos on this and lots of uh uh podcasts and live streams but the point i just want to make is that like have they seen like any any of the george lucas like creator of the franchise this is not star wars it's just angry lesbians slap boxing in space i, I don't <laughs> i don't know what to say about this like i said a lot of a lot of uh a lot of time is going to be spent analyzing this, but maybe not. I've already seen some of the reactions, and it's just like, yeah, it's, it's what we thought it was going to be. It's Harvey Weinstein's lesbian assistant making a 2018 Star Wars product in 2024. One of the stories I've told a million times is me talking to a female friend, and I was talking about the male fantasy that is pretty much universal of getting onto an airplane and stopping a terror attack. Key and Peele made a very famous sketch about this. And she just didn't get it. Like, I had to keep explaining. She's like, is this like a bit? Is this just you? I was like, no, it's, it's every man. It's, it's all of us. It's every flight. It's all the time. And she said, you want to know what my plane fantasy is? I get on board and uh, I sit in business class and I get wine and I watch a movie and then I go to sleep. Like, that's that's my fantasy. It's like, yeah, well, men and women are different. Um, I don't have much to say. Furiosa was good because it showed, like, it's a real character with depth. And uh, 2018 is just... <laughs> An angry lesbian being handed a franchise she has no interest in. No time or energy to learn about the fandom. Actually watch the movies. I mean, when they did Rogue One, okay, it didn't have a lot of humor. But the whole point of that movie is, like, this is going to be like a darker, like, ground-based combat we don't have a Jedi or a Sith as the main character or the main villain. It was like, <coughs> it was the plebs. It was the serfs. It was the, the civil servants. That was interesting. But like, I feel like 
especially the women, every woman who has been handed, and that's what it is. They don't pitch for this. They just get handed it. Every woman who has gotten handed a, a Star Wars movie, I don't think they've seen it. Like, I think they saw Rogue One. And I think they saw one or two of the uh, the latest trilogy. And, and that's it. <laughs> like, oh, the other reason I didn't do a, a, a screen capture is because a few years ago, Disney was so stringent with their um, copyright that I remember one time, like a lot of times it just like will be like, you can't monetize this or you can monetize it, but all of the money from this will go to whoever holds the copyright for this footage to, I think it was like Indiana Jones. Like YouTube is literally like, you can't upload this. I did a screen capture reaction to one of the trailers. So, I mean, I can describe every scene of the trailer. First of all, it's about two minutes long. Just, if you haven't seen it yet, Go watch it after this, and I want you to do one thing. I want you to take a breath every time you see a white man. <laughs> and if you're able to do that uh, without only doing it when you see a white man, are you allowed to breathe? Uh, I would suggest going to your local Navy recruiter, um, and they have the, uh, the SEAL program, uh, because you can really hold your breath quite well. I mean, it's, I wasn't bothered. I wasn't even annoyed. I just found it funny. Like it's, it is so 2018. It's like, it's a bunch of angry women slap boxing each other. Like every, every, every character has to be another race and a different gender than the previous character, except for being <laughs> white men. So it's like, like it's, 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 it's just silly. Um, uh, but after you watch that, go check out Furiosa. Furiosa, by the way, is an amazing example of a male-centric, male-led franchise becoming female-led, and nobody cared. We got introduced to Furiosa in Mad Max Fury Road. That was kind of right before like the whole SJW thing went crazy and just everyone loved that character totally accepted her and uh now she's the lead no nobody has a problem nobody cares it's fine because it's a real character with depth uh there's this line uh in the trailer i believe it's spoken by the lead character the actual acolyte herself and she says like this isn't about good or bad it's about power and who gets to wield it and as i just felt like leslie headlands and the star wars story group their subconscious bubbled that to the surface and it's just it's it's ooh, it's way too on the nose about how they look at this fun silly sometimes oddly deep space adventure with wizards and laser swords and they just needed just, uh, just, just just women and they're fighting and the no white man and, uh, uh, uh. like you're so fucking angry you're so angry like why are you here what what was the dream i'm gonna be a lesbian with a square head and i'm gonna work for harvey weinstein and i'm gonna be angry and how many, like, appointments did you set up for actresses there, Leslie? It's like, okay, so you will be meeting Mr. Weinstein at his hotel at 2.30 in the morning. The dress code is, um, easy access. There's an urgent care a few blocks away if you trip. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's not the devil, but she's like the devil's personal assistant. Like, how... <laughs> What kind of freaking blackmail did she have to get, like, this position? Which looks like it was vaporware. For a while there, they said that she was given a budget just to make, like, a... Like, just to shoot some scenes to give the idea of what it will be. And maybe that's what half of this trailer is. But, like... Dude, you can't make an argument against, like, AI movies when stuff like this exists. It's like, what is this? Well, it's a 2018 era <laughs> T-1000 
TV show made by an angry lesbian with a square head who helped helped Harvey Weinstein in his duties. What the fuck? Meanwhile, uh, what is George Miller? He's got to be at least, he's probably around 70. Meanwhile, the best new sci-fi female hero was created by a straight, white, 70-year-old man from Australia. Oh my God, this is literally, this is just a clown world. Like, what is this? Japan, stop laughing. Stop. Stop. You have your own issues too. You're not perfect. You're just better at us in everything related to <laughs> freaking comics and manga and movies and, oh my God. Yes. This is the dream of every 56-year-old woman. To karate fight an angry black lesbian in space. The only thing that can defeat this woman is osteoporosis. Oh my god, whatever. I don't even have, I don't even have a thesis. This uh, video is just going to trail off while I shake my head ruefully. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.